So another way to look for a range of values, especially in character strings, is by using something similar, something similar to uh, regular expressions. If you use um, SQL, has similar stuff that's not nearly as powerful, but uh, very useful. In fact, uh, most of the power that is in there is, is enough. So let me just show you how to do it. Here I have the contact name from all the customers, and suppose I wanted, uh, I don't know, let's say, let's say everybody, everybody that started with an E. So from the first video, the video I just showed you, we could do a complicated where clause or between and get all the people that started with E. But there's another way to do it. I can say where, oh, I have my caps lock on. I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, contact name like uh, starts with an E. Well, if I just run this, as query as it is, if I had a five, notice there's no results. This is a lot like, if, if I don't put anything fancy, no fancy characters, which I'll show you in a second, there's nothing fancy in here. It's the same as doing equal here. Well, there's no nobody with a contact name that's equal to E. But with a like, I turn on some, some searching expressions I can do here. So when I say E percent, percent means any character and any number of characters right here. So I'm looking for people that start with the letter E and then anything that follows. So if I run this, I get Eduardo, Elizabeth, and um, Elizabeth. So, so that's cool. Now watch what happens if I put another E here. Think of what this expression is saying. It's saying anything that starts with an E, anything in between, but then it has to end with an E. So if I hit a 5, no results. But then I say, say I put another percent out here. Now I'm saying, well, I have to have an E. And then there could be zero to any number of characters in between. But then I need another E, and then there could be anything after. So basically, I'm looking for anything that starts with an E and has an E in it. So I'd have five. And look at that. Eduardo starts with an E. But also notice the last name, since this is, this is one complete cell, the last name starts with Saavedra. Or it hasn't it doesn't start with it ends with <laughs> Saavedra. Notice the presence of the E here. So so now we have them all back. Now suppose I replace the second E with an N. Look at our result set here. Eduardo, it does start with an E, but I'm not seeing any N's in here. Elizabeth though has an N here, and this other Elizabeth has an N right here. In fact, this one they both end with N. So if I rerun this, notice Eduardo is gone. We have our two Elizabeths because uh, because of this this end condition here. So that's what the percent means. Basically, any number of characters, any character. Now, if I want to be a little bit more explicit, I could say, give me everything that. Uh, well, here, here, let me just bring up uh, all the contact names, contact names again, and the customers table. Say for whatever whatever random reason, I wanted to find our customers that had three three letters in their in their first name. So. So hopefully you could pause the video and think about how that would work. But let me just show you uh, where contact name, like. Uh, now in order to do just one character of any character, it's an underscore instead. So I said three characters, so underscore, underscore, underscore. And then I want a space because because these cells have first name, last names in there. So I want a space. And then um, I could have anything for the last name. So let's run this query. Notice we have all of our customers that only have three letters in their first name. Now there's some other tricks I could do uh, with some functions and things I could do to, to find people with uh, certain length names and things like that. But well, basically I wanted to show you the power of like. Like you can use underscore. Underscore means one character. It can be anything. Percent means any number of characters, even zero. That can be anything. Uh, again, if you're just doing a straight up comparison, for example, if I was doing Anna... Uh, Trulio, or yeah, Trulio. See, I get into Trulio, but but now using like, I'm turning SQL Server on and saying, hey, there's going to be some special parsing and searching conditions in here. But I didn't, I didn't put any percents or underscores in here. So what I really should do in this situation is use an equal. So just make sure you keep that part straight in your head.